Today, members of Hillsborough County's criminal justice system announced an expansion of the county's juvenile arrest avoidance program. That program, which was started about three years ago, gives first time juvenile offenders who commit misdemeanors a one time opportunity to get their lives back on the right path. 10 Tampa Bay's Eric Glasser shows you the changes that were made and why. This program works. It's that simple. Hillsborough's Juvenile Arrest Avoidance Program has been so successful, they're enhancing it to give even more kids an opportunity to participate. Every young person deserves a chance to change their path. It changes their opportunities for the military, it changes their opportunities for scholarship, it changes their opportunity for employment. About 750 kids in each of the program's first three years have chosen the diversion program instead of being charged with a misdemeanor crime, most with a successful outcome. Of those children who successfully completed our JDP program under the Juvenile Arrest Avoidance Program, 81% did not reoffend within the first year. A year ago, members of the local criminal justice system said they would review the program to see if there were ways to expand on its success, give even more young people an opportunity to participate. One change announced today eliminates the need for parental consent. In some cases, parents couldn't be located or weren't committed to the program. Another change requires deputies and officers who arrest a child under the age of 12 to consult with a supervisor or teachers if the offense occurred on school grounds. Getting a second opinion takes minutes, and not doing so could have a lifetime of repercussions in the form of a criminal record. Hillsborough's public defender says the timing of the changes is also important as communities look for ways to address systemic racism. As you all know, quite often it is the minority communities that are affected and impacted by arrest. Today, every single one of us stands here and says to those communities, we are partners with you to ensure that your youth, that our youth, will have opportunities across the board. Sheriff Chad Chronister says the program also saves taxpayers time and money by keeping young people out of the criminal justice system. Those who successfully complete the civil citation program will not see those criminal charges on their record. Now, taking a deeper dive, there are several crimes that are not eligible for the JAAP program. That includes these five misdemeanors, assault on a school employee or law enforcement officer, battery, driving under the influence, car racing, or violating an injunction. The Bay Area has been one of the top hotspots for teens stealing cars. Here in Florida, that's a third degree felony, so anyone under the age of 18 arrested for grand theft or joyriding would also not qualify for this program.